Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of the Haste Hobby's Cthulhu Death May Die painting series. Today, we'll be painting Dagon. Oh, uh, no, Dagon. Today, we'll be painting Dagon. Firstly, I'm using Oceanic Blue on this figure, a new Style Res primer. I then proceed to provide some highlighting with a mix of white and blue primer, and finally some straight white ink from above. For more details on my priming process, see episode 1. The last bit of prep I do is to apply a white dry brush all over the model, mostly omnidirectionally. With all the underpainting complete, I'm moving to our two non-primary primary colors, pink and green. All the soft underbellyish area gets a coat of the Vulpus pink. And all of the carapace gets a layer of warp lightning green. with a little bit of blending between the two colors on the head and beneath the neck. The fore mouth and aft mouth, and both tongues are covered in athermatic blue, along with the underside of any tentacle you can find supporting suckers. I do a little blending of the blue with vulpus pink on the aft mouth, as that area is quite prominent. I experiment with giving the bright green carapace a little orange crusty look taking some inspiration from the Kickstarter page paint job of this figure. But I forgot that contrast paints don't really make anything brighter. So the orange turned out looking a little like a coffee stain. Needless to say, I didn't repeat that on the other side of the figure. Moving on from that misstep, I'm using bright ivory to pick out the mouth teeth and tail teeth. Moving on to the eyes, I'm preparing them for contrast paint with some pure white. Once that has had a little chance to dry, I'm going to give the teeth some grunge and definition with a beige wash, in this case seraphim sepia. When that wash dries, I'll be going back and highlighting with some ivory. Then I'm filling the eye sockets with contrast yellow. The last step is to do a couple highlights. I put a white dot in each of the eyes, then I glaze on some ivory on the fore and aft teeth. After that, Dagon is finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. You'll find a list of the products I used in the description of the video below. Tune in again soon as we continue painting minis from Cthulhu Death May Die.